Anton, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you again. And before I, I sort of ask about your recommendations, are there what were the bright spots in the investing landscape so far this year? Who did benefit from this environment? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, <clears throat> um, you've really had a lot of sectors hurt. Energy was the biggest beneficiary earlier in the year, and they've been hurt a lot of late as the price of oil has come down. So it's really been a tough year for investors, for stock pickers. I think some of the biggest winners have been you know, the, the guys who've been uh, trading large uh, moves, you know, trend followers, because there have been some big trends, particularly earlier in the year. And you've had firms like Bridgewater have, you know, really big swings and returns as well. So it's been a tough year for, for most people. It has. So what about the banks? Why haven't they benefited from higher net interest income, in some cases, record highs? Yeah, you, you can't, you know, you can't have your cake on any of the, the reasons people have been trying to figure out why banks are, are good. But the one thing that has happened is earnings have actually done quite well for regional banks. Uh, they have benefited from rates being above zero, which is really not a good thing for the banking space. Uh, but people have worried about a recession engineered by the Fed, so they've worried about credit. Now they're worried about the top um, of their interest rate margin cycle. Um, you know, it's, it's just they, they want to keep worrying. But what's happened is a lot of these companies are seven, eight, nine times forward earnings with big dividend yields and lots of capital. And I think I've said this for quite a while, but banks are not part of the problem here. You know, it's the lending outside the banking space that's riskier, right? The, the, the cracks in the credit that we've seen out there have been companies that have, you know, targeted subprime consumers, the lower tier. And obviously that's hurt a lot, right? Yeah. The Fed rate increases for a tremendous amount. Inflation is for a tremendous amount. Those people are having a harder time paying their bills. Yeah. Um, banks tend, tend not to bank those types of customers. Yeah. Um, you know, the other big fear is commercial real estate. Um, you know, oh, my gosh, people have not come back to work. Our lease is going to get canceled. And again, if you really sort of think about the big commercial real estate, you know, it's, it's gone into the pension plans. It's gone into the large life companies. You know, banks typically don't have those very large buildings in major cities uh, other than our short-term basis during construction. So you and think, I think, yeah, I was just going to say that valuation-wise, basically, it's a good time to get in, broadly speaking. You also like, you say, the self-help stories. What would a couple examples of those be? Sure. Um, so near Community Bank, uh, it's interesting I'm talking about the Northeast because you've heard me talk about tax advantage states. Yes. So New York Community Bank has just closed a merger and the company they bought, Flagstar, is actually a large mortgage company. They have uh, quite good uh, commercial lending products. I think the combination of the companies will lead to better deposits, better products, and they'll use a lot of technology to help drive efficiencies in Flagstar. So I think the company will continue to pay its 8% dividend yield, which is a great, great yield of weight, and will also eventually be able to buy back stock. I think earnings estimates are actually too low on this company. I think there's a lot of fee for real estate, they lend a lot to multifamily real estate and particularly rent controlled. And so if you think about that rent controlled, I mean, no one's leaving the New York City rent controlled apartment. So before I let you go, am I hearing you sound pretty bullish and upbeat on the prospects of the Northeast, Anton? What is happening? Well, How can this be? <laughs> How can I'm this being, be? I'm being, I'm being bullish on New York community and actually Provident Bank, which is in New Jersey primarily, uh, you know, some New York, some, some Pennsylvania, that merger <laughs> after Lakeland, same thing, right? I mean, you're going to get a lot of cost cuts out of it. You've got a really nice dividend yield. You get paid to wait. Uh, and these companies are going to invest in a lot of technology to help them improve their efficiency and be better. So a right. uh, very conservative lending structure. So, yes, I am bullish on uh, some states in the Northeast, particularly the banks benefiting.